Hello and welcome back to another episode of Kerbal Space Program with me, Matthias Weiss. And yes, it has been a long time since my last recording, but now I'm finally home and have got some time to do some new stuff. And as you all know, we have Kerbal Space Program version 0 0.18. See the there's a lot of changes on the uh, overview here, and of course we got a, n a bunch of new parts. Yeah, I was thinking uh, what to do first in version 0 0.18, and as my last videos were about docking, I will. Uh, I came to to the decision to restage my Apollo 13 mission which I used uh, which I did earlier using the Urkel docking mod but now with the real docking and I've got you see the vessel name already here I've got uh, the rocket already ready and it has some nice additional features the first thing you see here is an escape tower to pull the capsule away in uh, case something goes wrong on the launch pad or in the initial launch phase. Uh, then we have uh, our command and service module, a decoupler and our lander module which has now a dedicated landing uh, lander ca capsule with uh, the ability for only two kerbals but that's more than enough. Yeah. The standard uh, three tank landing gear, but with one change. You see these fuel lines here. Uh, in Urkel docking mod or in version 0 0.17, we had the problem that once we disconnect this ship from the main ship, uh, all struts and fuel lines get deactivated. Now uh, when we decouple, this is saved because it has a capsule, it's saved as a new ship and these things still work. So we have additional fuel which we can finally use. I also added uh, some landing lights here on the edges and these need e electricity so we have two uh, unfoldable uh, solar panels here and also on our main craft a solar panel to keep everything energized. Yeah, what do I have to say? Now we have here for the decouplers these nice uh, fairings to uh, yeah, hide the engines. They are deployed automatically. It looks kind of cool. But you see here this docking thing. Yeah, I had some problems with that. This is actually a modified version, modified by me, of the original uh, docking clamp. We have the docking port and I made another one. I copied uh, this part and added a decoupler module to it. So this is a decoupler as always, but it can be used for docking. It's just uh, two, p uh, two sentences in the uh, uh, in the part dis part config file, so it's pretty easy to modify anything you want right now because <coughs> we are uh, using modules for that. So, oh, there's one thing I don't like to change that. I didn't forgot to save it last time. One second. Okay. Come on, get it right. Okay, that looks better. 
save it. And yeah, here we have a standard booster stage. It has uh, batteries. Too much batteries. All we need is one battery for MacJap because MacJap now needs uh, energy. And as always, I want to deorbit the stage later, so we need to have add a battery pack here. Uh, I modified my booster stage a little bit so I'm not using the big tanks on the outer shell anymore but only the normal ones with uh, yeah here I go into a double for more engines and better thrust weight ratio in the beginning. I also had to do this uh, funny looking cross lines here because uh, these stacks here they drain uh, with a different speed so one of the, them is empty before the other one so I had to make sure that f the fuel cross feed is always uh, there so both engines burn out on the same time. Yeah, w that is basically all about the mission. We will fly to the moon. Yeah, I know it's boring but with this lander design it's a funny mission. But this is part of a next episode. Today all I want to do is we go to the launch pad and test our abort function. There we go. Oh, it's night time. I don't like night time. I don't need the landing autopilot. Let's just wait for the sun to come up. Okay, that's enough. Okay, what we do now is uh, can just start the launch and simulate. What we can do now is just turn off SAS. chance we can save it so let's abort and as you see our capsule is safe yeah. The escape tower worked as it should. And our crew is safe. During a normal launch phase, uh Whoa. During a normal launch phase while uh when we are uh outside the atmosphere uh, the launch uh, the escape tower is uh, in the staging as normal and will be fired away on a suborbital trajectory just like in the original missions okay for this time that's all so just accelerate and we are back home. Next time I will 
start with uh, multi-part series again for this mission, but this will be uh, real quick. So um, after that, I will of course begin to build up another space station. So I hope you liked this short presentation of what's coming. And my name is Matthias Weiss. Fly safe or dangerous. <laughs>